Hey guys, what's going on? Quinton here and right now we have Bitcoin hanging around $6,000. It went over 6,000, then it went under 6,000 for some time again and now it's literally on 6,000. So I'm really uh, wondering what's going to happen. I think if it stays now for a while over 6,000, then it will stay there for some time. But it might also be possible that it's going back down under 6,000 and I think then it will stay a little bit below 6,000. So that will be uh, 5,700, 5,800, I think. And otherwise, I will see it going to 6,100, 6,200. Uh, that's what I think. So it's it's a little bit... Uh, yeah, it's exciting what's happening right now. Bitcoin 6,000. But anyway, the article I want to talk about in this video is why Bitcoin and the crypto market cap will hit one trillion dollars by 2018 it's an opinion by nick aiden uh, which he published it yesterday but it literally sums up what i think about the the cryptocurrency market future um and especially for next year so it sounds a lot one trillion while it's right now 175 billion but that's only uh times six so, and that's okay because Bitcoin this year also went times six already and the year is not done yet. It's not over yet. So times six next year is really possible. And in this article, it sums up why this is really possible. And the first thing, the first thing here are ICOs. And if we go back in time a little bit more than half a year, let's say nine months back in time, January, February, when the first ICOs of this year were um, actually set up. And these ICOs, they raised approximately 5 million, 10 million sometimes. And then right now, compared to ICOs right now, nobody is raising 5 to 10 million anymore. Everyone is raising 30, 40, 50, sometimes more than 50 million dollars. So this already went up with almost times 10. And this in only let's say nine months, a little bit more than half a year. So if this will happen again, not even times 10, if this will happen again times five or six when they are going to raise 200 million, 300 million for an ICO, then we will see that the first criterion is already uh, fulfilled to get to this one trillion ne next year. If this is again, if this these levels are raised again, raised again, then the the levels of cryptocurrencies in general will be raised. And it says right here that in 2017, so far, two billion is invested into ICOs, and he says that in 2018 that it will dwarf 2017 by a factor times 10 times 20. Times 20 will be difficult, I think, compared to right now, um, but. Yeah, actually, in general, because there will be more and more ICOs, the price that is raised by ICOs, uh, the amount of money raised by ICOs will probably not go times 10 or 20, but the amount that is raised with all ICOs combined will probably go times 10 or times 20 indeed. So like he says, in 2018, there will be approximately 20 billion to 25 billion invested in ICOs. Why right now? This is 2 billion, but like I said, the year is also not over, so it will be probably a bit more. And then the first criterion is already fulfilled why this will happen. The second thing is that the market cap, if it will explode, it just needs to be 500 billion, it says uh, 500 million, and starts head to 1 trillion. And then this is probably the most important reason why the entire market will go up. That is because institutional money is coming more and more to the cryptocurrency industry. And you can say like, we don't see it yet, but I have to say, I am contacted by institutions already several times. And I hear that from fund managers. Uh, I know I met already one of the biggest ones these are really interested in putting a little bit of money in um, in cryptocurrencies but a little bit of money for them is a lot if institutional investors for example next year if all institutional uh, investors and funds etc put one percent only one percent of their total uh, amount of money they they um, they have if they put it into cryptocurrencies only one percent then already Bitcoin would be worth $25,000. Obviously next year, not 
all the funds and all the institutional uh, companies with institutional money will come to the cryptocurrency industry. So they, they, won't, they won't all come in one year. That's that's for sure. So it will go slowly, will go slowly. But the ones who are coming are probably investing a little amount of money to test, like putting their toe in the water to feel if it's hot or cold. And then they will probably invest more. And that's also what I heard about from investors themselves, from institutional investors, from funds, what they want to do. Like they want to start with a small amount of money and then raise it, raise it, raise it. So that is probably the most important reason why this can happen next year and why this probably will happen. Because right now, a lot of these institutions are still waiting. They are waiting and they are like observing they are just looking watching the market like how does this work how does this go is it really a new asset class that is uh, created well and probably some of them next year will make the move and these are already planned into their uh, roadmap let's say that next year a lot of these will start investing in cryptocurrencies and we talk about so many billions of dollars then the third very important thing is that federal banks will also start to uh, cryptonize their own fiat. And we saw that this the first one who announced this is Russia. And Russia is not a small country at all. Vladimir Putin says that he wants to uh, make a cryptocurrency um, variation of their own fiat, the ruble. So like it says right here russia japan and other sovereign nations will issue a full central backed cryptocurrency that will be fungible against bitcoin and other leading cryptos and if this happen if this happens then governments actually show that we need these cryptocurrencies and they want to actually fight it but it's not easy to fight it they know that so what they are going to do is they're going to create a variation of their own fiat currency and once they made this cryptocurrency variation of their own fiat money they actually say like this is the next big thing they actually admit it and once governments will start with it this will really have a snowball effect i think more and more um, governments will do this and first of all this doesn't seem to be very good for us as cryptocurrency investors and people that want to get away from government from uh, centralized banks etc so this doesn't seem good but on the other hand it really shows that this is the next big thing which we already knew but then they finally admit it so that is the third very important thing the fourth thing right here it says that a new range of blockchain crypto funds will offer investors the opportunity to buy the market and reduce underlying volatility so that is actually what i already said before with the institutional money so funds also want to come to here and they will create probably a lot of hedge funds and crypto hedge funds crypto funds already exist for example me personally i invested in black moon crypto which is uh, a platform on which uh, cryptocurrency funds can be created and this will be a very easy way for institutions and for existing funds that are actually has nothing to do with cryptocurrency yet this, this is a very good opportunity for them to first try the cryptocurrency market so they just put a little bit of money into these funds and they just look at what happens in these funds etc so it's a good first step for these people and these funds will also attract more um more easy people let's say so these are normally right now if you want to invest in cryptocurrencies i always say like you need to put a lot of time into it but if these funds are working, for example, Black Moon Crypto, if, if they have a lot of funds on there, then also people that doesn't want to do anything for it, then they can just put money into these funds and say like, okay, you invest in cryptocurrencies, I want to invest in it, but I don't want to put any time in it, you can do it for me. And these people are also waiting, let's say on the sideline and just watching the market right now and just waiting until this opportunity comes for them and they are really really waiting for these crypto funds so they don't need to do anything and it will be done for them they don't need to care how to make wallets they don't need to care how to do the transactions they don't need to care about gas for example with ethereum all these difficult things which you first need to figure out when you start they don't need to care about it and that's perfect for them but this will also attract a lot of fresh money because this money has not been in the cryptocurrency industry yet so it's 
totally fresh money, totally new money. And this is also a very important thing. So these four things are actually why the cryptocurrency industry and the cryptocurrency market cap will hit 1 billion in 2018. And I'm actually pretty convinced that this will happen. It will go with ups and downs, that's for sure. That's also what is happening right now. It will, it will go ups with ups and downs. And sometimes these ups and downs are really ridiculously hard, but that's how volatile the market is right now. And if we go to 1 billion, uh, 1 trillion or more, then this volatility will go, will become less and less, I think, because more and more people will be in it and the market get more and more saturated. As we see, for example, with stock exchanges, there the prices of shares of, um, yeah, of, of company shares go up with 2% or go down with 2% a day. And I think if we have some more years, we will also see this happening, that it's only going up with 2-3% a day, going down with 2-3% per day. Sometimes more, obviously, sometimes, yeah. Um, but not like 20-30%, even for the biggest ones, 20-30% um, a day. I don't think we will see this anymore in a few days, only with completely ridiculous good news, but not like a normal day with 20% up or 20% down. I don't think we will see this anymore in a few years. So that is all very good advantages because when this happens, when this market starts to become more stable and not this volatile anymore, it will also attract more people because right now a lot of people are still scared because of this crazy volatility we know in the cryptocurrency market. But if it's becoming more stable, again, more and more people will come to the market because it's more yeah, it's more sure for them. They are not going going down with 10% a day and they feel more comfortable with that. So these are all very good reasons. And I think this person right here, I think that Nick Aiton is very right about that. So that is what I wanted to tell guys because this article right here really sums it up all what I think that will happen next year. So thank you for watching. Just give your own opinion. If you have your own opinion, just put it in the comments below. Uh, if you think, think something else, if you think it will be even bigger than this, uh, just let me know your opinion. I would love to read them. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a very great weekend. Bye-bye.